Axis and Allies Anniversary 1941. This is Germany turn number four. And I've got all my battles and stuff marked out here on the board, but we'll get to those here in just a minute. First we'll do our purchases. We have a total of 83 IPCs. 25, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3. And for that 83, we're going to buy 5 strategic bombers, which is 60 IPCs, plus 4 tanks, which is 20 IPCs, that's to 80, and 1 infantry, 83. 10 units, all IPCs spent. All right, so let's go ahead and start with our battles here. Uh, we'll start with the easiest one, which is down here in Africa. And we're going to take this one tank from Italian Africa and go one, two, into Union of South Africa. And we're going to pick that up from the Brits. We'll go ahead and mark that off on the battle board, or the IPC tracker now, so we don't forget. So from 35 to 37 for the Germans, and from 19 to 17 for the Brits. All right, now the rest of what we got is up here in Europe. Let's see if we can't get a slightly better angle there. Yeah. Oh gosh. Well, a lot to do. All right. So, first attack here in Ukraine. We have one infantry and one artillery coming in from uh, Bulgaria or yeah, Bulgaria, Romania, and one fighter come moving in. One. He'll have three spaces remaining. So that's two twos and a three versus a two. These tanks uh, are staying behind. They will non-combat. Next attack here in East Poland, we have three infantry coming in from Poland, along with the six tanks from Germany going one, two. So that's three ones and six threes versus one, two. Next attack here in Belarusia, we have the one artillery the four infantry and the six tanks all coming in from Karelia to empty that out. We also have the three fighters in Germany. They will be going one, two, three. So that all three of them will have one movement remaining. Okay. And then the, f well, I guess this is the one, two, three, four, fifth battle and last battle is going to be in C zone three. So we've got uh, three destroyers and two transports for the allies. So we're going to take first off this uh, sub that's in C zone, is it five? Yep. He's going to go one, two up there. Then we've got two bombers here in Bulgaria. And uh, make sure I get this right. They're going to go one to Poland, two to five, three to six, four to three. So they'll ha each have two movements. Oops, not that one. Two movements remaining. And ignore my cat meowing like crazy in the background. It's like one in the morning right now. We were at some friend's house having game night, uh, playing a couple good games. Uh, Sushi Go, which is a really fun, quick one. And uh, Thurn in Texas, which is a, an older one, but it was a game of the year in 2006. Fun game. Uh, then this bomber here in Germany is going to go one, two, three. He'll have three movements remaining to participate in that attack as well. So we've got three fours and a two going up against those three twos. All right, that is it for the attacks, all the combat moves. Uh, we will go ahead and resolve the battle. So I've got the dice all laid out over here. See if you can see those. 
Yeah. Uh, so first, first one down here. There we go. This one is the battle for Ukraine. So we've got two twos and a three versus a two. And then we've got Poland, three ones, six threes, uh, uh, and six threes versus a two. In Belarusia, three ones, two twos. It's actually supposed to be seven threes, but I ran out of red dice. Hopefully I get three hits with that and don't need to roll the last red die. And I get up against three twos. And then this is the battle of season three with a two and three threes versus three twos. I guess I can't use those black dice because they're all the same color. So I'll throw some white dice in there. Alright, so let's start with uh, down in Ukraine, moving south to north. So we've got our two twos and a three versus a two. And we've got one hit from each side. Alright, so uh, the infantry is eliminated, but he takes down an infantry for uh, the Germans with him. So... One infantry of each into the pile. Uh, I'll make sure I don't make the same mistake by putting that money into the same way back into the German box like I did with the Italian turn. All right, uh, now we're moving into Poland. So we've got uh, the three ones, the six threes, going up against the one Russian two. All right, uh, we've got, there's two hits right there, so he's doubly dead, but uh, he got a hit as well. So we'll remove the Russian infantry and a chip for the German infantry. All right, I guess I'll throw a, the extra three in there that I was missing. Uh, so this one hopefully goes even better with three ones, two twos seven threes, and three twos defending. All right, so there's a miss, there's a hit, and there's a miss for the Russians. And uh, we definitely have one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six hits for the Germans, so that one went just fine. So we're going to take one German off of the stack and take out those three Russians. So three Russians and a chip for the Germans. All right, and the last battle. So uh, yeah, I don't I don't know why the UK left the rest of their fleet over there in you know, the, the kind of split, you know, the UK and US split their fleet up between C-Zone 3 and, and C-Zone 8, kind of left this great opportunity. So the sub at 2 with no sneak attack. Uh, I don't know why I put those bombers at 3. They're supposed to be bombers shooting at 4. And you get, you get the idea. And then these uh, 3 will be at 2 for the defending uh, destroyers. Okay, uh, awesome. All three of the bombers hit, and it looks like none of the destroyers hit with a couple sixes and a three. So my submarine will live to see another day, which is a nice surprise. So coming off the board for the Allies are two UK destroyers, an American destroyer, and two... American transports. All right, so let's get the IPC count taken care of. So we've got uh, Germany up two and Russians down two. Germany up one more for Belarusia. And I believe it's one for, yes, for East Poland as well. So up four for the Germans, down four for the Russians. 
So we'll take care of that here from 32 to 28 and from 37 to 41. All right, uh, let's do some non-combat. All right, so I had a couple of them marked, and specifically that uh, first one here in C-Zone 14. I'm going to take this transport, and he's going to go 1, 2, out to C-Zone. Does that make sense? Out to C-Zone 34. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, you can't see that but he's right there in C-Zone 34, German sub. All right. For this fighter that has three left, he's going to go one, two, three, and he's going to land in the Baltic States. Same thing with these three fighters that have only one movement left each. They will all land in the Baltic States, so we've got four fighters there all together. All right. Oops, these are in Belarusia. Uh, these total of one, two, three, four, five tanks are going to go non-combat across East Poland and into Belarusia to combine with those other tanks that are there. Uh, also, this AA gun that is in Karelia is going to move down into Belarusia. All right. Takes care of that. And uh, lastly, so these bombers here, the one that has three left, we'll go ahead and move one, two, three back to Germany. The other two that have only two left the only place for them to land is in Northwest Europe. So they will go ahead and land there. All right, and I think that is it for non-combat moves. Hey, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take this guy in Morocco, Algeria, and I'm going to come back one, two, to Libya. Because otherwise he'll just die. But, uh, yeah, we'll do that. All right, so place units. Uh, everything I bought is going into Germany. So that is a total of five fighters. Or bombers, I mean. Four tanks. And one infantry. All right, so let's uh, collect some money. The Germans are at 41 on the IPC tracker. And then for their uh, IPCs, or NOs, they have, let's see. Yep, they have all their original territories. Well, all the mainland territories. They have uh, at least three of those ones in the middle. And they also have Karelia still, even though it's empty. So that is a total of 15 extra IPCs. So we're going to collect uh, 41 plus 15 is 56. So that's 25, 50, 50 oops, 55, 56. All right, let's do a quick recap. So in Union of South Africa, we have one tank. In C Zone 34, we have one transport. In Libya we have an infantry. In C zone 3 up there at the top we've got a submarine. Northwest Europe we have two bombers. Uh, Germany itself we have 
Uh, the five bombers we bought plus the one, so six bombers, one infantry, and four tanks. In Ukraine, we have one artillery. In East Poland, we have five tanks and two infantry. In Belarusia, we have 11 tanks, three infantry, an artillery, and an AA gun. In the Baltic states, we have four fighters. And that is it. All right. Uh, nothing else uh, to add. That's the end of the German turn. We'll turn it over to Russia. Good luck, Bert. Let's see what uh, what you got. <laughs>